so bring your old friends guys and i hope uh, the requirements you have seen already for this ctf one and uh, we have item two to three level of phase this is level one to start with um this is the link let me copy paste the link into the chat if i can no i can't do that so anyone if anyone can do that that will be great so this is the one and uh, another thing you need to do is you have need to download the kali linux and uh, what i am using right now is i don't recommend the individuals to install the kali linux from iso file but it will be great if you can download the vmware image or virtual machine or virtual box image ready made image just to download that and play and plug so i did not install the kali linux from an iso file i downloaded the vmware file i have the vmware license if you don't have that then you can use virtual box so to download that you need to download vm where download kali vmware image it's pretty much hard to find on their website or better to great just go for the kali linux custom image download if you click here you will land up soon to the hopefully okay okay yeah so just download that vmware image this is a zip file it's a torrent so you need to have a u torrent or bit torrent to download this 2.4 gb uh now let me show you a problem statement so while using kali linux when i entered into the linux then i was logged in into an account which is kali kali and it was not an having a root access it was not a root account so the first thing you need to do when you download kali linux the latest version you need to change your kali linux account and you have to create another account and jump to the root access now root access is required to run so many tools because what i realized is while running uh, the things into the kali account which is the default account right now you cannot run some tools you need the permissions and so on and so forth so it's better you download the kali linux and then make an account of how to, how you can make an account is very easy um, <clears throat> i found this good article i did that and it's working perfectly you just need to check who am i and you will be logged in as a kali and then you need to do the uh, user pseudo permissions and then create another account for kali so by default the uh, super user is kali so just change the password to pass root and put the password whatever the password you want to put and press enter and then log out from the existing system so if you see if you see my account right now let me show you so if i log out from my system you can see now i can log in into two accounts you know one is one is kali and then kali press enter and now i will be logged in now the problem with this is this is the default account where you will be logged in automatically now the problem with this is when i will run my tools like arp scan hyphen l and press enter you can see you don't have the permission so every time i have to put sudo or su su so and so forth it's very irritating so what what i'll do is i made an account and now if i'll log out and i i will now log in into the root account so i'll put root and my password press enter and now i am into the root account so if i'll click here if i show you who am i i am root so it's better to have a root access and there is a nice skull there and uh, i'm i'm using the latest one after a long time so it's a lot of things has been changed into it so this is the first thing you need to do you need to make an account on the kali linux with the root permissions and used to do everything there second thing you need to do is in your vmware you need to download this file here you can see the file and put it into your vmware and then run the machine right now if you see i have this already here in my vmware i start this machine and now and 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 main thing you have to do there there is some problem which i found in the setup of this lab if you go to settings and uh, you will see that network adapter is bridge automatically i tried to change it to nat but i was failed to do that i don't know what happened it's a problem with my vmware do let me know in the chat and do let me know in the comments that 
even after changing this to NAT and restarting the machine, still it will come back to again the bridge and it, it was a chaos. So I made it for bridge, but I recommend everyone to, if your Kali Linux and your another machine which you want to hack is on NAT, that will be the best option to do it. Right now, my old machines right now on, if you go to settings, you can see all the machines right now on bridge mode. So bridge and NAT, I hope you can see the previous uh, webinars where you can see what, what's going on there. Walkthroughs, there are many ways to hack into it and there are some hidden uh, hidden links into it also and there is also if you're preparing for uh, for uh, if you're preparing for a uh, OSCP then uh, there is some learning out of this uh, walkthrough which can help you to really uh, learn how you can actually use the public exploits to to really crack into the machines whenever it is required if, if you're not able to find the exploit in a very very easy manner so again I am also learning you're also learning so if I'll do the mistake chat is open you need to guide me this is the reason that is the reason why we are together here I will learn from you you'll learn from me but at the end of the day we'll be on the right way to learn okay. It, you, you are at an airport and uh, you are have your Kali Linux. Don't do that actually, it's illegal, but I'm just saying that you are, you are a spy and someone sent you somewhere and uh, you need to hack into a machine, but uh, you do, it, it's connected to the internet, but you do not know where it is. Uh, sorry, connected to the network there, but you do not know where it is. So how you can start, so, so you're connected to their network and you have no idea how many machines are working around with you on the same Wi-Fi. Now you have to first go for the information gathering and then after gathering the information, then you have to start your hack. Now, the first thing you need to do always when you are trying to jump into a network where you do not know anything. First, you need to change your MAC address. First of all, I have done that already. I don't want to do that again, but you change your MAC address. And second, if you can change your IP, that will be also good. It's just for the safer side. Now I need to scan along with me how many other computers are there on the same network where I'm connected. Now to do that, you have to use many tools. There are many tools to do that. If you see a lot of walkthroughs, they are showing you NetDiscover or maybe some other tools, but I'm a fan of AppScan. AppScan is a default tool in Kali Linux, which will help you to scan the network and do the spoofing, address resolution spoofing also later but uh, you can use this tool in many ways, the way I'm using right now, just to scan the network nearby me. So I'll do one thing, once command is op scan minus uh, L, and as I press enter, you can see here there are a lot of machines which are visible to me. The only one machine which is visible to me is uh, VMware, that is uh, Inc, this one. And uh, this is a VMware machine and this is the only machine which is beyond my network. So I think I should target that. So this is the machine which I think one cannot be there 24. It's kind of the giga gigabyte, maybe the router I have, the virtual router. And uh, this this is something is a VMware machine which 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 which, which is making something to me. To it guys, back to it guys. You have your copy pen ready. You have your machines ready. Good to go. No, 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 no time wastage now. Okay. so. Like I was telling before, we were at we are at an airport or we are at a security, we are a spy and we need to hack into a machine which we do not know where it exists. So as I told you, first I did is up scan minus L. L means local. You can do like this ETH0 also. ETH0 means your whatever the card you are using right now, it can be a okay, interface zero. It's not there. Anyways. Okay. So I installed it and jumped it and now as I, as I told you before, this is the IP address which is kind of a goofy to me because I don't know what it is. This is a VMware. So I copy this and now I need to know more about this IP address, okay? Now to know more about this IP address, there are many things. First I will do a quick scan then with the nmap that is, here we go. And as I press enter, it's scanning, 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 scanning. Okay. So scanning is finished and as you can see, there are certain ports which are open and those who are new to our channel, what do you mean by ports? So in your computer, there are two type of ports. One is physical ports, one is virtual port. And also virtual port is divided into many parts like open port, closed port, filter ports. Physical ports are like your USB, your pen drive, your Thunderbolt, your HDMI. 
and the virtual ports are like your HTTP port, which is working on port number 80. So whenever an application runs on your computer, they need doors through which the data can come and data can go out. So now I scanned this machine. I can see there are certain op open ports which are there. And uh, so one is the port number, one is the state and one is service. Now I want to, I want to know more about this, uh, uh, this machine so I need to change little bit of my scan through nmap and those again who do not know what is nmap nmap is an information gathering tool it's known as network mapper so let me clear that and now I will do something nmap minus sc okay this is a command I have already written what do you mean by this command now nmap is minus sc is the default scan so whatever the scripts nmap needs to run to scan a machine which into a limited stuff it is it is taking that minus sv is the version detection now version detection is i don't need the output i need aggressive scan okay so minus sv is the version why because every service which is running on a certain port will be having a certain version for example version 1.2.0 version 3.3.0 something like that now, as a hacker, knowing the version of the application is very, very important because if you do not know the version of the application, you cannot find the related exploits to that. Again, one more example. Let me, let me remove the TCP. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, so I removed the TCP and as I press enter here, you can see just keep on pressing enter you will know the progress why it is not showing the progress it's a myth to me otherwise it shows you 10 percent 20 percent oh it's showing me like you can see now 60 student where i learned i i read somewhere and i copy pasted as it is <laughs> so maybe i didn't jump into it so you're not thinking that this tcp was the output name you are 100 percent right it was a file name and now i remember when i did that there was files which were created in xml and info file also of nmap scan so you're absolutely right. Okay, so now guys, we have a lot of stuff here to jump around. Look at the detailing. Now I want you to see the detailing of now, compare this scan with the last scan and there are a lot of information we can see on the machine. And again, you have to keep in this in your mind that you do not know about this machine and you never met this person who whosoever is carrying this computer, okay? So kuch pata nahi hai aapko iske baare mein. So now you can see, first of all, T port number 22 is open and then SSH connection. SSH is secure socket, uh, uh, sorry. SSH connection is a secure connection of remote accessing connection through com command line. And open SSH, which is there, is this. This is the key is not required. Okay, port number 80 is open. That means there is some web server which is running. Apache web server is running and uh, mode ssl is also configured that means we have 443 pop port is also opened yes we have samba server which is also running while threat 139 so i want you to pay attention those who are new the most important thing is you need to look into the ports open and what is the service which is running and second is the version of that service so for example okay so i there is a okay let me copy this version and look for an exploit now, many people, so w one more learning fact for you, InfoSec fact, InfoSec Gamer fact, whenever there is a exploit which is released, it will be released with respect to a version number. And companies like ExploitDB or Kali Linux or other companies, they usually mention the version number into their exploits. So that one day if you have find a version number of this application, you can search for that exploit compatible if it is compatible with this version. So uh, now in the total database of exploits which Kali Linux have in their database, I need to search for open SSH 2.9 P2 version. If there is any exploit on this name, maybe I can use and hack into this. So again, the state of this port is open. That means we can interact with it. But if there is an vulnerability, there is a code, I can download the code and hit that open one open port, I can get into the machine. If it is not, then that's the other thing. Now there are many ways to do that. One is you can Google it and second, which I like the most is,
is using this tool. So there is a tool within the Kali Linux known as search exploit. So I'll dial it search exploit. I will come to this one. What is this later? Because I was practicing. Okay, open SSH, enter. Okay, so you can see here we have uh, 2.9. So we are using a version 2.9 P2, but all the exploits which are visible right now here are of 2.3.7, Okay. So nothing much there. So let me change it to two. Okay. For two, we have a lot of things. Uh, so we have a remote code directory, which is there. Open SSH enumeration is there protocol, so and so forth, blah, 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 remote. This is kind of good, but again, it's not pure open SSL. This is different. Okay. So this is where we need to focus, but there is not much there into the exploit system. So nothing there in it. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the version. Now, by the way, I, as I told you, there is port number 80, which is open. Uh, there is a there is a pro port which is open. So let me check what's working there right now. So whenever you see any any 80 port, just quickly go to the website. So I'll go over HTTP, TP 192.168.1.140, I guess. Press enter. And it was 140 or 104, 104, I guess. Oops, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so this is default Apache server. That means there is a Apache server running and uh, so the whenever you see this type of uh, blank pages, the default pages by the administrator, I recommend when there is an application, it is recommended that you do a Derby scan. Now, what do you mean by Derby scan? And, and whenever you see this type of default pages, what is the next step usually in the hacking process? So this means the person is testing something or maybe they have not uploaded the website or the system, whatever the server which is there. So we are getting a default message of the Apache server. Now it can be a possibility that uh, many things are running at a default level at their point and there will be some open directories in the website like dot com slash this folder slash secret or something like that. And one of the most common uh, file which usually you get is the robots.txt robots robots.txt and but we don't have it here even google have that you know if i if I, let me show you a secret so if you go to google.com and slash robots.txt come on come on so you can see here google.com robots.txt so you will see these type of uh, whatever the secret they call it or it's not secret i don't know what it is so, so robots.txt will help you to put kind of a sitemap and uh, and uh, other stuff into the website which they want you to hide from it or sometimes they need need for the SEO, so maybe like the sitemap. Okay, we don't have the sitemap also. So I'm talking about these type of folders which are there and people don't uh, do that. Now I have to test that how many other folders are there on this system. So what you need to do is you have to come back to the thing again and you need to open another terminal sorry and now you need to type derby so derby is basically known as directory buster it's a very very popular tool when you're doing the enumeration enumeration means when you are trying to gather information about your target especially if when it is a web application when the port number 80 or 443 is working on the system so i'll do that http paste okay press enter oops sorry 104 
okay so now you as you can see they have almost uh 4612 common folders which usually they can see on lot of website and you can see out of 4612 words or maybe the xyz folder names we are we are trying to get some folders here we have operator folder we have this folder we have cgi bin and manual mrt usage one i one thing i want to recommend you please do not run this this application on any of the live website it is a pure criminal offense if you are trying to scan a website like this and look for the vulnerable folders which are there you can be arrested there okay so just keep in mind in this thing do not run this thing on any live website unless and until you don't have the permissions for that okay so now uh, let me see if we can find something there is manual let me open that okay mode mode pearl mode sl nothing nothing much much there then again next i have usage okay what is in usage okay this is something interesting huh <laughs> we we were able to see the last month of uses of the i think server or whatever the order visits okay whatever the visits which are there stats of the website anyways what else we have what else we have we have manual we have what is this mrtg let me check it out once again okay so this is okay nothing just a stupid application installed anyways what else what else we got so nothing we got okay now one thing if you remember in our n map that uh, this machine was a linux machine this was machine was a unix machine so what we need to do is now we need to jump into and uh, try to gather more information about it and there is a tool known as enum Lin enum unix or enum linux uh, name tool which is there so this tool can be used to uh, to gather information more information about the linux operating system so if i'm hacking into a system which is a linux operating system and remotely i want to know its username and password or maybe maybe a username because if you know the remotely if you know the username password still you can brute force and try to grab wherever it is there so so to do that we need to run an application known as enum enum for linux and 192.168.1.104 so as i press enter now you can see it is trying to connect to the machine and trying to get information okay so the known users it has detected is administrator guest key r b g t domain admins root bin and none so these are the known users which we are expecting to have on the system and uh, server doesn't allow using username this and this orbiting and thing I think it was allowed. I'm not sure how many know that, but let's see. Okay, so nothing much into it also because the server is not uh, making us connect there because the RPC port was not open, or if it is are open, it is not visible to us. Do you see any RPC? Oh yeah, RPC is open. Okay, anyways. Okay. so now not much information we got from it but but you have to keep in mind i want you to note down these type of tools and the scenarios the way i am using i am just randomly thinking and uh, according to me what is best tool and that's a problem with the web live walk through also because i do not know the next step i know little bit about it i have seen the walk through one or two time but still it is better that i should not know the solution 100% because if i know then it kind of a not an hit and trial method like in real hacking there used to there are a lot of hit and trial methods so it doesn't work like in a in a normal way anyway so let's come back enum is also failed nothing much we got from it so next thing we need to do is okay so next we have is linux and next we have is this mode ssl 2.8 so open ssl is installed now what is open ssl it's an ssl certification if you remember the hurt bleed attack which was on open ssl so so i want to search this one now fully that what exactly mode ssl 2.8 2.8.4 okay so let's go to our favorite 
where it is where it is let's go to our favorite search exploit and i need to look for search exploit uh this time i need to this is what i like you know they are, they are they are remembering your last commands which you have typed on the terminal so that it will not waste your time enter nothing is there mode ssl okay okay so my version is for 2.8.4 okay and you can see here there we have some kind of open f open f and open f exploits are there so there are three exploits one is this this and this first one was this second one was this and third one was this okay so the third name is first name is 746 now i will tell you in oscp how you are messed up how you get yourself messed up with the exploits which are in public domain okay in oscp you are not allowed to use the meta exploit directly so you need to download the exploits from the third party it can be exploit db or it can be a hacking forum and then you have to change that exploits according to your requirement and then hack into the machine now let me download this the, let me look for this one 746 thing now in linux if i need to look uh, i need to know where this 764c file locates i need to type here locate 746.c hmm so 746.c 74.c okay accept it it's showing me everywhere <laughs> mm 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 okay you unix 764 okay 764 come on man yep yep so we can see that so my exploit is here right now so let me copy this exploit and uh, voice come hai voice come hai ruko ruko abhi voice come hai I didn't know my voice is low, guys. You should tell me if my low voice is low. Let me increase the voice, guys. Just give me one minute. Is my voice is clear now? I hope this is very very clear, because it is very very clear now. Trust me. If you can't hear me now, then you are dead. अभी वॉइस सही है एवरी वन वॉइस इज ओके और नॉट देवा जंगरा वेलकम वेलकम फुलकेत वेलकम स्पर्श थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फॉर कमिंग ओके धीरे बोल रहे थे अभी ठीक है अभी तो नहीं आनी चाहिए यार अभी तो आवाज बहुत सही है यस नाउ माई वॉइस इज गुड ओके एनी वेज डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी गाइज इफ वॉइस इज नॉट कमिंग अप एटलीस्ट स्क्रीन इज विजिबल सो एंड प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट यू नो Okay, so now let's copy the exploit. Now again, for some people, it's a big task to copy the exploit from this there and then get it on the desktop. So to do that, you need to type sp. Oh, nice! I have put it there. Seven six four. Yep. so this is cp cp main copy copy this thing to root desktop and press enter and now let's see if we have got it ta 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 i think we got it let's go to a desktop now okay you can see here uh, i name i named the file desktop by accident i'm sorry guys so this is exploit dots c okay means okay it is exploit dot c name okay so this is a c code exploit guys and uh, while running this code you cannot run this code by default if you remember if you have done the c language when you write the code after writing the code you compile the code to make it machine dependent and machine compatible so in the same manner whenever in the linux you download any kind of exploit code you need to compile it unless and until it is a python code the rest of the language but usually the c language code needs to be compiled on the system now to compile that we use an application known as gcc so i'll come that come to that right now and you can see here we have exploit.c 
I call it GCC minus O. Uh, I'll call it OP. Yep. And exploit. I want you to note down this command. Okay. Now, what do you mean by this thing, guys? So what I'm doing is I'm taking a output file as OP, OP, you know, OP, like InfoSec Gamer Channel OP. So I'm making the file OP. What will be the outcome of the file after compiling exploit.c? And uh, there is a package which will help me to compile with that minus L crypto. If when, when you will run this command and press enter, you will see there will be a problem. You will not be able to run this command because there will be kind of few of the libraries which are missing. When few of the libraries which are missing, you need to install that and this happened with me. So when you see any error in the compilation, if it is a machine dependent error, okay, you need to go to the like, okay, I'll give an example. If I press enter right now, you can see there are a lot of problems here in the code. Lot of problems, lot of problems which are there in the code. Now, neither I do I know how to correct it and neither I have that knowledge to really go through line by line and do that. The funny thing is and the good part is that people who have the knowledge in exploit writing and code, they saw this problem and they fixed it already. Now I'll tell you where where I know from where I know that this code is already fixed and this is already fixed. Now you have to again go to you need to go to the search exploit again and you can see here i was using this exploit 461 you know go with the number you know this came first then someone corrected it and then this came second and suddenly then there is one more overflow 2 which is the latest one 4706 okay and obviously 470080 comes after 764 and 21671 right so this is the latest one so someone collected that and did some changes with the time and made this one and someone took this one and took it to the next level and make it more compatible with this version so instead of using this one i will be using the latest one which is the second one or maybe after few more few more months maybe this will get up, up outdated and someone again do the code and do the checks and they will correct it so in your oscp there will be a lot of times some applications when you search for the exploit you will not be able to do that and there will be variants of the exploits which are available so the only thing you need to do there is to look for the latest one and use that so i have to do the same thing now i have to get this code and uh, took it to the desktop and let's do that Okay, root and I will type it infosec gamer. Okay, I will type it infosec gamer. This will be the file name on the root that is the dex desktop which will be there. And the file name which we need to copy is 47080.c. Okay, so press enter. And now let's go to the desktop and see if file is there. File is there, infosec, let me delete that. And now we need to compile this file again with the GCC. And again, I'm telling you, if your GCC is showing you error and so and so forth, that uh, and usually it, it, it throws an error, something like uh, something like on the library that there is some library missing. So I got the same problem. So the only thing you need to do is you need to do this command apt minus get install this lib ssl version 0.1.0 if you if still it's not coming up there is no packet then you need to empty apt minus get update and apt minus get all upgrade or whatever so just update your repository where the application can be searched if it is there then it will work anyways so now let's do the thing okay let's change it again the file name will be op but the only difference this time is the file name is infosec gamer and uh, i hope this time there will be no error okay 
infosec gamer press enter what the heck is there okay okay i need to change the file name into c i guess just wait infosec gamer dot c okay now it's working i guess so let me change that again infosec gamer dot c gcc ta -da! and you can see there is no error right now and here you can see now we have got a op file this is op guys op in the chat op in the chat now we got the op file op in the chat op 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 chota raid kar do you know raid it 39 people raid it op 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 do it guys do it nayan das nayan welcome nayan it's not only you are the hacker nayan nayan is the person who makes uh, contribute lot of his research on our channel we appreciate that anyways you're not doing op yeah huh? that's bad or maybe i'm getting a late I, i'm not able to see that anyways you you guys are lazy you know i know that it is okay you may be sitting in your rajai or your blanket in the summer and enjoying the video and here i'm sitting in the cold okay op op okay that's op op nice well done well done few of the guys other people don't even understand what is op you know <laughs> so that 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 that's okay okay only one person is doing the spamming other people are not doing spamming that's okay with me any okay come back to the story guys come back come back come back come back okay now we know we need to use this exploit okay and uh, let's see how it works now so we need to use this exploit so to run the exploit let's enter you can see this is the exploit now which is in green color here you can see there is no extension don't worry now we need to and again the goal of this hack was to get a root access of that machine okay to get a root access of that machine and root access means we have the terminal access of that machine we can dump whatever we don't want so we need to have a remote root access of that machine okay just keep in mind so now we need to use this uh, to run the application so in linux whenever you need to run anything any file which you just compile it's dot slash the file name and if i press enter here it says okay let's go with that so this is now exploit this is working it's perfectly working you can see here uh, open f version 3.0.4 root privileges based on ssl to open so if you remember ssl needs to be open it's uh, blah 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 okay how to use this you need to and always how to use a how to use the exploit it is always visible here so you just need to read the code no rocket science required okay so dot slash op target box port number and minus c the number okay for example target is basically supported boxes okay which is there here okay host name is the ip address okay port number we do not know which port number number of connections okay a range from 40 to 50 so 50 is something which you need to put there because more number of connections we have more fast it will it will crack the machine so it's always good to have the higher side of the numbers here okay so we know we now we know how to run this tool so now the only difference we need to do is we need to check the uh target box okay we need to check the version number and then we need to use this one okay so okay r1 is red hat just wait what in our results what was it in there red hat of one version ssl red hat 1.3.20 whatever red hat uh red hat linux red hat linux red hat red hat so we didn't got the exact number so i'll go with the higher version okay whatever the so so whatever it is close to it is like uh, the 
अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट वन अपाचे अपाचे हेलीकॉप्टर अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री टू ओके सो गाइज यू कैन सी हेयर यूनिक्स अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी एंड अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी नियर बाय ओके ओके वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट टू ओके दिस इज द वन आई गेस सिक्सटी टू आई गेस सो इट वॉज सिक्सटी टू आई एम नॉट श्योर I made the notes out of it. What do you think, guys? It's sixty-two or what? Tell me, it's sixty-two or sixty-four. We should go. Zero x six b. Or this is the latest one. सेवन पॉइंट टू अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटीन टू अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी ओके गाइज दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट मैच यू कैन सी हेयर वन पॉइंट अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी अपाचे वन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी जे बात जे बात यू कैन यूज द अब वन ऑल्सो बट अगेन एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज टू टू मीन्स द लेटेस्ट वन ओके सो वी नीड टू गेट द टू ओके so okay so we used to you we need to use this one so we need to use 06 f okay okay so let's do now uh the command is again the command is hyphen op target name and the uh box box means this okay after the okay i got it got it got it got it got it guys hyphen op target is paste this one b and then 192.168.1.104 and minus c 50 and i did not specify the port number here because i do not know on which port number exactly it is I know even it's 443, but I don't know. I'm not sure that it is again configured somewhere else also. So it's better to skip the port number if you do not know, and let the expert decide. So let's enter it now, and you can see the connection is happening, 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 happening. Establishing connections, connected, connected. Jabat, guys. I know people who are new; they do not know what happened, but I know what happened. and you know some people what happened you can see here we just got attached we got connected with ssl connection and now the shell code is already placed and now we got the machine is rooted so uh, how to check whether we have hacked this machine or not the answer is you need to do id press enter and you can see here root 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 and root 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 and if i have to go again to the top and have to type who am i who am i root nirvana guys go to root shell okay guys so next week same time same person and i hope to have a new crowd and uh, do subscribe those individuals who have not subscribed so i'll see you next week and thank you so much for coming okay thank you good night guys thank you so much peace